Another um, application area, another concept of volunteered um, geographic information, which is substantially more mundane, but probably much more common than crisis mapping, is this idea of um, using volunteer geographic information as a way to help the public to both um, contribute information to a municipality and to feel served and listened to by their local government. And um, a nice example of, of this is uh, the City of Chicago Pothole Reporter. And uh, people have been, citizens have been upset and noticing potholes um, ever since there have been roads. There have been potholes and there um, has always been an issue around um, communicating to your local highway department um, where the potholes are and that you'd like to get them fixed. And, um, it has, and, and it has started to become a reasonably efficient process in many areas where people have developed um, um, municipal needs reporters, in some cases, um, these, are, these VGI sites that local governments offer are very general and one can, can report any need, or in some, case, in some cases, the, uh, the application is specific to a certain need, such as potholes, but this is, uh, this is a tool um, the pothole reporter, which has a um, web interface or a desktop interface in which somebody can use a map um, to report or locate and report a pothole. Or there's another form of this pothole reporter where somebody can just enter um, the information on a cell phone, which will get the geographic information of that particular report from the lo geolocator of the cell phone itself. Um, so depending on how somebody is comfortable with identifying the geographic location, um, whether it's by um, working, with a, working with a map and pointing to something on a map or using um, the automatic GPS geolocator service on a phone, it is uh, possible in a, in a community that supports one of these services to detect a pothole or in many cases anything that you'd like to report um, to your, your local government and send a report and what happens if the service is being used correctly is that um, on a daily or perhaps weekly basis um, all of these reports from citizens get aggregated and when the number of reports in a certain area cross a certain threshold or um, when the amount of information um, reaches, a, reaches a certain level, um, then um, it's possible for the municipality to very efficiently send out crews to, uh, to work on a whole set of potholes or a whole neighborhood all at once to route their trucks effectively around all the uh, areas of need. Um, so it, it really becomes um, a way that people can feel listened to by being able to report in. And also it's a way for the, the municipalities to gather information more effectively um, to, um, and, and semi-automatically to be able to plan their um, maintenance operations. Um, so so people, uh, communities where this has been available um, are really actually um, people tend to be happier with their community services when they have a web mapping tool such as this um, web mapping um, implemented as a VGI um, volunteer geographic information um, there's a, an extension on this that I'd, I could mention um, it, there is such a thing as volunteer geographic information that one could that could be completely automated and uh, what this article is about um, in, in this particular view, it's a, an article that's about um, basically either making city vehicles or even private vehicles um, be instrumented 
um, in something something um, resembling what the Google Street View vehicles have. In other words, a group of sensors and or cameras or whatever um, that are gathering information as that vehicle is moving around. And just in this particular application right here, it talks about um, a situation in which uh, um, well, a research, in, uh, research um, tool at this point, but actually starting to find its way into, uh, into actual practice, um, having vehicles that actually have sensors on them to um, judge the quality of the pavement um, as they are driving, um, either by visual means, crack, detecting cracks, or by with some sort of a uh, vibration or shock sensor to, to measure the roughness of the road. Um, and this is actually, um, actually truly implemented in a lot of areas um, where vehicles, usually public vehicles, um, um, municipally owned vehicles, um, are instrumented and gathering information as they travel around the community for other purposes. Um, so that's an example of VGI. Um, one very interesting example um, of VGI is uh, the, the fact that um, Tesla cars, um, all, um, as they, uh, all Tesla cars, the new fancy electric cars um, um, made by the company of, of Elon Musk, all have um, cameras on them and take continuous um, images and videos of, uh, of everything around them as they travel, just as a means to, um, well, in, in, in one, for one reason would be to uh, have imagery that would um, record um, the situations around an accident um, and uh, to prove that uh, the other person was to blame, for example. Um, and uh, if and when it ever becomes acceptable or common for these uh, vehicles to actually allow their information to be aggregated and reported, it would probably be possible to use all of these billions of images that are continuously being collected to uh, interpret them and map all of the uh, map all of the road infrastructure on a continuous basis at a highly um, specific. Um, at a, a very high level of detail. So another application or concept of, uh, of VGI.